Hey everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the South Sudan. So as we talk, I'm just ordering all my units to go repair. Uh, they're going to go do their own little thing there. I don't think anyone in the South here even got engaged. Are they even going to move? The most of them won't even move. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to order them to... Is there a barracks here? Yeah, there is. To that location. You know what? We're probably going to go to war with Morocco next because it's so tiny. I can mass my force literally en masse on the border and just roll over them. Um, I'm probably then going to go after Western Sahara. Um, I might actually declare war on the two of them at the same time. Um, someone mentioned to me that I should try taking on everyone left over all at once. So declare a war on all these countries and basically just build up along all their borders. Which, to be honest with you, I have no problem with trying. In that case, I'm going to fight a proper war. Which means I'm going to be building up troops, um, properly, we'll say. Is, is I guess how you put it? Huey. Oh, come on. Yeah. Cancel your orders. Come on. Highlight, repair, there please. Wow, that's a lot of units. Highlight, repair, right there. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do multiple wars against multiple different countries. Um, and it's not because it's uh, something hard to do. Um, it's just that, uh, to be 100% honest with you, it's just, it's, it's, or not even easy to do, sorry. It, it's hard. Um, it's not really much of a, a skill to do. It's just something that will take a lot of, a lot of work. To be honest with you, I don't know if I want to do that much work uh, one of my main things is I just want to build up a lot of troops along the border here and basically just stomp my enemy to death is what I'd prefer to do uh, highlight all of you aircraft only or ground units only and I'll put you there I mean I prefer just to like stomp my enemy to death and not really have to care about him too much I mean, with the, the plans I'm going to be doing now, I mean, my units are basically just going to march across the coast, or march to the coast, basically. Another thing that should stop them theoretically is the ocean. We're just going to slowly... Deploy all our troops across the coast or along the border. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty simple war, I'm hoping, against these guys. But then again, last time I, th I thought it would be a pretty simple war, I ended up losing a retarded amount of troops, we'll say. I think it was the war against Cameroon where I'm like, hey, it'll just be a quick little fight. No big deal. Then next thing I know, I'm losing units left, right, and center. So. Even though a country's going to be, a, in my eyes, a pushover, it doesn't mean it will be. units over here our supply will take a little while to catch up to no more 
research breakthrough, fuel set technology, utility helicopter prototypes, biofuel aircraft construction 2, RFID tech. How close are we to getting those uh, aircraft? Sixty days, so about two months, and we'll have our first batch of aircraft. It's almost like an F five model. It's using there, F well, F fifteen look alike. Now, if it actually was like the F fifteen, I would lose Trump ideology, Trump wall, Trump tower, synthetic fuel plants gives us the ability to build synthetic oil. Industrial fuel retrofit. What does this do? Uh, finished goods petroleum demand is reduced by 10% and goods electrical demand is down by 10%. Perfect. Chipless RFID. Science thermo. Thermo electrochem converters. Cool. Transportation. Upgraded rail system. Gives us infantry rating of plus 5 and the cost goes up by 5%. Mid-air refueling. Uh, that one high speed rail infrastructure cost goes cost goes down 5% rating goes up by 5% high altitude pressurization more aircraft stuff fuel cell for vehicles nice we have weapon industry advances and aircraft turbine oh nice we are getting up there when it comes to tech uh, elite forces no aircraft tech yet. We're getting there. Research breakthroughs. So we need troops there. And we need troops right here. And right here as well. Chinook or Sherpa. We're still at the fastest setting. Wow, I still got a lot of troops to deploy. More troops there. And yeah, more troops can go here. some of these guys moving another research breakthrough for clean coal employment is still up it's no big deal how are we doing for you're good if rubber is a bit of a problem timber is good oil is good coal is getting up there Metal is getting up there. Uranium's good. Power is low. Let's build more power plants. Ground units. Ho! Uh, you know what? I'm going to move these guys down here, actually. Position them there. Maybe I could fight two wars with no big... No big issues? Depending on how well I can deploy my troops, though. We'll see how well I can deploy them to the southern areas. If I can deploy troops rather well to these southern areas, then maybe I will try to take on everyone else left in Africa. No, we've still got a lot of troops to deploy here. I mean, I don't need all these units everywhere.
Like I definitely make a priority to a certain region, but I don't need to do as much as I'm doing. Because as one region falls, that just brings availability to more units. You know what? I'm going to do only do, yeah, too thick, like too wide. Anything beyond too wide is just going to be deployed to. these other locations here. The question becomes, with the, we'll say the extra reserves, who then takes priority over others, right? Like who who deserves the extra attention versus the normal amount of attention? I don't know you. Um, I haven't actually moved any troops here yet. Hmm. Actually, let's go into theater control real quick. Theater control. Please repair it. Thank you. Uh, this whole stack can go. Um. Yeah, I'll send them down here. Redeployed everybody. Deploy all our aircraft. And eh, not to worry about our warships, but our ground troops. Let's make sure everybody's deployed, shall we? Quite a bit of units down here in the south. Quite a bit over here in Egypt as well. Then again, a lot of these are also going to be deployed to fighting all these other little territories, so. So first things first, I'm going to take everyone east of that and still bring them south right to there then everyone pretty much like so uh, can go here all these guys can go there and that should kind of hold things up for the next little bit. Oh, crap. We still have more guys up here. Um, well, I've got two countries to invade here. I've got Sahara and you. Martania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domestic price is too high. Like we have these aircraft that are flying over and doing nothing. 
So oh, there's still so many troops being deployed. Holy crap. Uh, let's move more here. That's a lot of units still moving around. Jesus. So we have 1,800 units. Theoretically, what I'm probably going to do is kind of make a defensive position along this location. Uh, what do we get here? Uh, hey, we got the Banshee done. Perfect. So we should start building those Banshees. All right. There we go. The Banshee and the Wren. I'm excited for that. Actually, now can I buy some aircraft uh, stuff from you now? MiG-23, SU-25, MiG-23, the Zond. May 29, uh, yo. I'll buy those. From you, America. Is there any, ooh, Hawkeye, J Stars, 737s. C-35 or 75. There's something in here you will not trade. Okay. So the AWACS, I want the J-Stars. The multi-roll, I'll take the... Super Hornet. Take the Predator drone. No, is it the Predator drone you won't trade me? Yeah, it's the Predator. Uh, it's traded a whole bunch of money away. We had one point two trillion dollars, <laughs> and it all just went for aircraft tech. So I'm merely getting rid of you and you, and seeing what the AI is going to build in its place. So it has a slot of six. It is going to build. MiG 23s, MiG 25s, MiG 29s. Yeah, a lot of Russian aircraft. Okay, what I'm going to do now also is move some of you guys up there. So these groups are not going to be the most aggressive, I'll say. The plan for these units is basically just to kind of give these countries the moment of should we attack, should we not attack. Our research breakthrough. Air to air missile concepts. Tactical nuclear weapons. Yeah, buddy. Satellite tech. 10 kiloton nuclear bomb. Wait, are we building any bombs yet? No, we are not. Can we even build anything? Oh, because I don't have auto build on, do I? Um, let's go with... Yeah, let's go balance. And you're on. 
Build everything. We only have one missile available, so you're probably going to build the nuclear weapons. Okay. Oh, got some more ground units. I'm going to bring them down here. Pretty much from Mali, we're going to advance here and then just hold them. So. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.